How you doing guys? This is uh, winding a 30 gauge coil. It's about nine and a quarter inches and, uh, and let's roll. I've secured this end off and um, I suppose the best tip here is make sure your coil does not move left and right. Up and down, if it wobbles up and down it's fine. Left and right and it's all over. So what I need to do really is get a start on this. Just gently pushing it around. Just so I know where to get my thumb, and you can see my thumb on the worktop. And I'm going to attempt to slide along as I wind. See those gaps there? I've got to close those up. I wasn't going to say it, but I've wound one of these once already, and the video ran out. I'll show you the cord in a minute. So it's typical. Never mind. This is the hard bit now. In fact, it's better if you see mistakes because you have to get started again. And you want to get this lined up perfect before you set off. Make sure there's no gaps. Okay, I think we're ready to go again. It's a real shame to have to stop halfway. Okay, I think we're good to go. Worst case, I'll unwind it again. Okay, let's see what we can do. I don't know what was going on down here, but I was really worried it was going to snap. Okay, so I've got some tape uh, already cut off up here. There's quite a few bits, just in case I made a mistake, I can just pause or if I want to rest in the middle and just tape it down. Okay, and then I've just got to break the end off and I'll probably want to varnish it while it's on here now. But yeah, that's good. Okay, not as perfect as the first time. I wound this absolutely perfect first time. And uh, the camera <laughs> ran out of space. Right guys, take care. Uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.